Good day, dear viewers. This is Life at Brace Snail Farm Production. So today, I'm going to be talking about immortality in snails, death rate in snails, because it's a really a big challenge when it comes to snail farming. Because a lot of people are be calling us on this aspect that like their snails are dying. So that's why I decided to make this video to educate you so that your snails will not be dying. So now, when it comes about snail, now snail hardly die. It's very difficult for snail to die. The only thing that will make snail to die if you don't put some things in place, which I will list now. If you don't put those things I'm about, I'm about to list in place, your snails will die. Number one thing you need to put in place for your snail not to die is the water you give to them. The water is very important. If you give them contaminated water, it will kill them very fast. Because why? Snail react to water. To substances very fast, they react, they, 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 their organs they react to chemicals very fast. So if the water you are giving to them is polluted, they will die. They will die of water is one of the most important aspect, most important substance snail need for to live to survive. So if you if the water you are giving to them is contaminated, the snails will die. Number two is if the food, the food aspect, the feed you give to them. Most people just think that you can just give snails anything that you like. No. Anything you are giving to your snails must be clean. The food you give to them, the feed you give to them, make sure that it is not contaminated with chemicals. What, look at the feed, this, uh, feed you give to your snails. Make sure that there is no chemical. Because snails, they don't use chemicals in farming snails. Because they don't use chemicals in farming snails. So if the food you are giving to them, Maybe, maybe mistakenly, chemical enter the food. Don't give it to your snails. Some people, they are very careless. They can even know that, okay, something has fallen into this food that is not good though. They will still give it to their snails, which is making their snails to die. So if you don't want your snails to die, don't give them food that has been contaminated. You understand? Most people will tell you that uh, you, can give to, you can give your snails anything, even waste from inside your house. Even though you want to give them waste from your house, you give them waste that are clean, that are good. For example, now, like we, we give our snails a uh, yam peel and plantain peel. Before we give them those yam peel, we make sure that we wash the yam peel. Or I also wash the plantain peel and make sure that it's very clean before we give to them. So we I still hardly die in our farm because of why we make sure that the hygienic, their hygienic is well taken care of here in our farm and the water is also important which I've said before and the environment you keep to them the environment you have to make sure that you clean the place your pen has to be clean the waste after they eat the one they remain don't keep it for the next day once they remain their food you throw away the food because if you keep them in the pen mucus can enter and if mucus enter inside the feed or you, you feed and they, they snail it, they will also die. So once you have given your snails food, don't the waste the ones they remain, the ones they could not finish. You take them away from the pen. So every day you give them fresh food. Don't don't keep food that you are giving them today. Say tomorrow or oh, they will tomorrow they will they will finish it tomorrow. No, they will die. They will die off. So you give them clean food, give them clean water, and make the environment to be very conducive for them and also the water level in your farm is also one and a very important aspect in snail farming let the place not be waterlogged excess water also kill them excess water the place is waterlogged excess water also kill them so make sure that your soil the self texture the soil you are using the soil the loamy soil loamy soil is the best the soil you are using make sure that it is not the soil that is so occupy water as an excess water what does it absorb water so you use loamy soil because loamy soil absorb water easily so you use the soil that is absorbing water easily so if there is excess water and the pen they will die and if there is lack of water too much if the place is too dry they will also die so everything you are doing you have to do it in a way that it will be moderate like see the see the snails now you see how, you see how our snails are very active you see how they are because why? We feed them well with the right things, with the right fruits, 
I will give them a lot of water. Snail hardly die, like what I say. They hardly die, and water also they are giving to them. You put it in a flat plate, like something like this. Now, you see, you see how this thing is now. You see, so if you can, you can put their water inside this uh, plate and give to them, and you, you make it in a way that they will not drown in the water. You see, as you can, you can see the level of this uh, plate and the snails. Even though you fill water to this extent now, mm -hmm. to this extent now, they will not drown because why? They are bigger than the water. But for the juvenile, uh, juvenile the newly asked ones, if you want to even give them water, you make sure that the water you are giving to them is small, is clean. And for the juvenile also, for if you want to increase their growth rate, you give them more of calcium. You give them more of calcium. And if you want to give the juvenile, juvenile uh, water, you mix the water with uh, calcium. So that is the things you have to put in place to make sure that your snails don't die. So if you put all these things I've said into practice, your snails will not die again. So do well to follow these instructions I've given and uh, your snails will not die also. So you can also come to our farm to come and look at how we do things here, how we approach here and learn more from us. So do well to share this video. To your friends and family members to answer to young farmers do well to share this video so that they will learn from the video so if you want to reach us you can call us on our number shown in your screen call us come for our training we are located at Okutiyama Barai in the local government do well to call us we have a lot of clients all over the world so do well to call us and come for our training I remain my humble self Savoy Brave Ibumaboe CEO of Brave Snake Farm Production thank you for being